Fighter VI. Welcome to Let's Play Street Fighter VI, the much anticipated sixth entry in the legendary fighting game series. Capcom continues their streak of excellence after uh, about a decade of poorly received games and business decisions. This one in particular comes off the heels of Street Fighter V, which, while it became a good game, eventually launched with a dearth of content and a lack of identity. Street Fighter VI, on the other hand, comes in hot with a new art style, which is just super stylish. And this, World Tour, a full fighting game RPG story mode, and the main focus of this Let's Play. Immediately, the personality of the game shines through just in this, like, graffiti-inspired intro speech cars the time's coming we'll be taking rockets to mars and yet you still got folks out there using their fists and bodies to seek strength they're yeah, losers say goodbye you, man. <laughs> we're all a bunch of fools. i should introduce you to hey but mickey and yoshi are here as always Stop. <laughs> that's <laughs> kind of what i was waiting for <laughs> <laughs> what if i just <laughs> never did that yeah like the whole video is like jacob will get to us eventually So, Jacob, since this is a world tour of the cool new avatar-based mode, uh, wh who exactly are we going to be running? Uh, any, like, popular uh, Straw Hat No characters? Any, like, uh, anybody wacky? Uh, yes to both, kind of. Oh. We will be seeing that here in a minute. You can create your own avatar. I'm sure many of you have seen the freaks that people have made, but it's actually a very good character creator, whether you want to make a freak or an actual cool-looking character. Luke, Jesus Christ, people have to pay for those. Yeah, I do. Also, Luke is just a regular freak. He's not a character. Yeah, look at those arms. Your favorite himbo. Welcome. This is Buckler Security Services. I'm Luke, the coach around here. You're here for basic training, right? Okay, let's get you measured up. All right, so welcome to the avatar creator. Here it is. You can create your own character. The options are wide. You have a ton of different options just to customize your face, your body, and you'll earn clothes throughout the game, of course. Interestingly, your size does matter. The reach of your arms and legs and stuff actually does affect your reach in game. But I'd like to introduce you to a character the three of us collaborated on. Introducing <laughs> Boppet. In our head canon, she is the daughter of Little Mac and Samus, I guess. <laughs> Samus doesn't have much of a place on the channel, but I kind of shipped those two back in the day, so Sometimes we did great with her. She is so cute. <laughs> Her actual name is Helena, however, her middle name and nickname is Boppette. And the story there is that Doc Lewis, when <laughs> Uncle Doc Lewis, who was there by her side when she was born, called her a cute little Boppette, and Little Mac said, her name is Helena, and then Boppette stuck forever. <laughs> That was her first words immediately on day one of her birth. What are you trying to say about me, Luke? Something weird. <laughs> <laughs> you come with a barcode. <laughs> Luke is interesting. He was the final DLC character for Street Fighter V, and he was presented even at the time as the face of Street Fighter VI. Yeah. I believe it's because SF6 was delayed a bit for extra polish, so they were like, put him in Street Fighter V so people can like him. Well, you're photogenic. You look like shit in person. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, then. He will again. say that no matter what monstrosity you make, too. <laughs> Luke doesn't judge. You look better on plastic. <laughs> so let's go through the tutorial. Street Fighter VI, of course, it is a fighting game. But there is a world to explore. The tutorial starts you off with just teaching you how to move. 
Now, I'm using a hitbox, which is like an arcade stick, but instead of a stick, there is four buttons that you use to move. Now, there is no right stick, so there's a, they give you a few options to facilitate that. You can either use, like, hold down one of the shoulder buttons on the stick and then use the face buttons to rotate the camera. That's a little clunky. What I do is I just use my left hands on the directional buttons of my hitbox, and then I use my right hand on the mouse to control the camera with a mouse. It's not as uncomfortable as it sounds, and personally, that's the way I recommend it if you're using that kind of controller. And if you don't have an arcade stick, a PS4 controller, or any other type of DualShock uh, will work just as well, as well as an Xbox controller. Right on. Looks like you've got the hang of things. Let's get right to it then. Show me how you are with your fists. Glad you brought that up because thanks to this new control option, controllers are more comfortable than ever to use. Modern control is the big thing for Street Fighter VI. You have the option, at, at first you don't have the option to use it because in chapter one, you have to use modern controls. It's a more streamlined way to control fighting games. Fighting games controls have basically been grandfathered in from Street Fighter II way back in the day, and they basically haven't changed much just because that's what people are used to. And because of that, it can be really intimidating to get started if you haven't been playing fighting games your whole life. Or if you don't just don't have the time to memorize all of the directional inputs and all of the different combos and stuff that you can do that are very, like, timing-focused. Modern controls simplify it down to a light attack button, medium attack, heavy attack, and then you also have a special attack button where you just hold it, hold the button, and press a direction, and then you just do a special move like a, a Hadouken or whatever. Complete. Good. That make, makes everything much simpler for somebody who's not as familiar with how fighting games control. Uh, there are some downsides, however. Because of the limited number of buttons that you use, not every single attack your character does is going to be available to you, at least not readily. Like, you can't just press a button and do a particular kind of punch or kick. And uh, to facilitate the fact that it is much easier to do special moves, you also do a little bit less damage. The exact amount I can't quite, uh, I don't know off the top of my head. But despite that, uh, it is balanced in a very good way in that if this looks interesting to you, if you were somebody who's like, I've always wanted to play fighting games, but they scare me. The, the controls are crazy and I want to <laughs> and I'll get my ass whooped if I don't practice a ton. A modern is a perfectly viable way to control the game. Nice work. What if it screams at me? <laughs> the modern controls have been received uh, pretty positively because while they are more simplified, they're not really dumbed down per se. A common issue that pl players would get into is just, I want to do a you, but they can't do the motion or some people would find that a little too complicated or they might have like hand disabilities. So this is like a very streamlined and very receptive way of playing the game. That even pros are like swapping over to modern controls. Kind of boring, right? I knew it. That's how the basics are. Look how cute she is. We fucking nailed it. Remember, yeah, you are boring. Yeah. Wait, what? You get me? Also, did the background say women just by itself? Gonna help her handle this. Yeah, come on, man. Women. <laughs> <laughs> women. I mean, right on. But... Introducing Bosch. He's gonna be our basically our rival for the game in a way. Even though, like, Bosch is not an official Street Fighter character, but his design is strong enough that he could be. Like, you can't pick him in online fights or anything. He's just kind of in the story mode as a character. I think some speculation, some people are speculating that he might be a DLC in the future. That'd be nice. I like Bosch a lot. He's a cute man. But you have to beat the shit out of him first. Oh, of course. Make him less cute. <laughs> Can't be cuter than me. Yeah. That's why I got into fighting. <laughs> Jealousy. <laughs> Bobbit will have uh, Luke's uh, basic moveset. Yes. Uh, there's no real, like, completely unique moves. 
But what you do instead is you meet the Street Fighter cast along your adventure and you become their student and learn their moves. And in the end, you can mix and match everybody's moves to create a move set that's truly your own. That was the kind of situation I want to learn to deal with. You're not here to punch bags either, right? Yeah, I am. <laughs> I'm trying to make a rallying speech. Don't correct me. He signed up with the same regimen you are. Yeah, I did. Look, both of you are my trainees. Oh, both of your names start with bees. So play nice. Buffett, Butch, you guys are going to be rivals. <laughs> and I'm your friend, Book. <laughs> and I'm your Booch. <laughs> I'm Booch Book. Babette's bit barded with training. I might be a little dazed. I kind of, I kind of get punched a lot. <laughs> after that so why bother pretending now ah oh, bosh my man that's a really tough question you gotta know what strength means to you before you go looking for it you go looking for the wrong things and you really might end up in that situation someday but you know what you can cross that bridge when you get to it you two are still my plucky little trainees it's not like we're friends coaches. now Put your hearts <laughs> into your you, you pay me in order for me to that. befriend you so Strength comes from all over the world. I like how she was holding her hand out that whole time. <laughs> With a bright smile on her face. You wanted something more practical, right? Well, practicality comes in many forms. But totally prepared to just collapse if she gets left hanging. <laughs> you hear the thunder strike in her eyes wide like <laughs> in the streets. Get out of my house. <laughs> Welcome to Metro City. This was originally the setting for the Final Fight games, but Capcom has pretty much officially fused the Final Fight and Street Fighter universes together. So this story will take place mostly in Metro City. But you do, of course, it's, it is called World Tour. We're going to be going to plenty of different places around the world, but there's only two big maps that you can explore. The first of which is this big, obviously New York inspired Metro City. The crime from the Mad Gears, the main antagonist in uh, the final fight series, and Mike Hagar, the famous mayor who people are hoping will also be DLC. They've been hoping that for decades now. For <laughs> Street Fighter 2. <II. laughs> so, Bobette, what's with the name? My name's Bosch, and that, that, that's like, you know, a name. Your name's Bosch? I thought it was Book. <laughs> no, that, that's our coach. You mean our boach? Yeah. Yeah, that. Yeah, it's a city. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta hit the streets, so... Punch. Starts kicking. <laughs> <laughs> Bad guys, good guys, neutral guys. Just any guys. Um. Oh. Ignore the tiny man on my back. <laughs> All right. We're out there now. But first, let's check out our messages. The first chapter, of course, is just getting you acclimated to how the whole story mode works. It's going to be a little slow going at first, but you'll learn stuff. Does that look like an Alice? <laughs> Alice is puncher and find out. <laughs> <laughs> she looks more like a main character than the rest of the people. 
You'll find uh, out what makes World Tour really, really fun. As you can see, some people have levels above their heads. I'm fine. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> so you're immune to fire? I'm not. That's what makes my <laughs> job interesting, you boring shit. <laughs> Burst into flames. <laughs> well, I need to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Can you all juggle my molotovs for me? Wow. Oh, I got an emote. You see, something I didn't actually know is I, I beat World Tour already, of course, and resetting World Tour resets all of your Why, gear. It does not reset all of your emotes, so I don't actually end up showing them because I try not to spoil too much. I still find a few places oh, to use them in, though. Mm, right. This is Alice, another character that I kind of wish was a more actual Street Fighter character because she is adorable. <laughs> Thanks for talking to me. Time to beat the shit out of you. <laughs> <laughs> Assisted combos are essentially when you hold down the right trigger and then use attack moves, your combo will you'll, you'll do a short combo that finishes off with a special attack. So you don't actually need to press the special attack button and a direction in order to do them at the end of every combo. Another way that the game simplifies the control and the execution of moves without actually dumbing down any of the mechanics. <laughs> it's okay, no matter how hard you throw these people or smash them or explode them, they'll be okay. Their health refills. Yeah, they're professionals. Mo some of them, anyway. <laughs> How about you leave me alone? <laughs> Beat someone else up, she says, like wiping blood from her mouth. So as Yoshi was alluding to, basically anybody with a level over your head, you can walk up to them and press X and fight them. You can just interrupt their day and start punching the shit out of them. Let's punch Adrian here. <laughs> After all these years, you can do actual street fighting in Street Fighter. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, he's ready for you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you don't just fight civilians, you fight... Well, yes, you do. But the civilians in Metro City are tough as balls, apparently. <laughs> and they throw knives, and they carry weapons. Yeah, they don't fuck around. I mean, this he's kind of fucking around, but... There's a guy right behind you juggling Molotov, so... Well, he's level 9, he's scary. Drops one on Adrian. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're not immune to fire. Hello. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, fine. <laughs> How about if I fight you for it? Nah, you can't fight the security guard. You can fight the cops. <laughs> we'll be fighting cops later. Ow. <laughs> Sophia, what the fuck? <laughs> I thought you were friends. <laughs> if you're the same Sophia from my college math class, square up. Okay, thanks. <laughs> if you're not, scream in danger. Uh, that scream of yours brings me joy. I don't know what that means about me, but... It means be worried, Yoshi. <laughs> so this is literally an RPG. The more you fight, the more you experience you earn, which increases things such as your HP and gives you points that you can use on a skill tree. It's, it's an RPG. Also, you can equip things. There is armor in this game, basically. You can earn, uh, you can buy clothes from shops around town. You can also earn clothes by fighting people. Later on, every, or, or most fighters at least, will have little missions you could do in the middle of fighting them that will get you certain rewards, such as money, more experience, items, clothes, anything like that. 
Now I do have some clothes here from special promotions and the battle pass that was going on, but we're just gonna stick with the basic outfits for now. Hold up, we got an inner tube. <laughs> you know what? We're still getting our sea legs. Time to go swimming in the sewer. Yeah. <laughs> street swimming two, street swimmer three, six. That's the game. <laughs> But yeah, so since we're still learning, let's get some of that safety gear on. It doesn't actually affect your stats since I got it from a battle pass and they don't want anything to be pay to win. But this is where you equip your special moves. It shows you what you press under classic as well as uh, modern control. And here is our skill tree. You earn, I believe it's three points every time you level up. Either that or it increases later to five. And another currency that you earn throughout the game is Miles. Miles, their only purpose is to give you more continues. I mean, I'm pretty experienced with fighting games, kind of. I mean, I've been playing them a ton over the last year, so I've gotten okay at them. I don't die very often, uh, but if you do end up having to die a lot, you will get plenty of continues, don't worry. Ass, sorry, sir. Uh, let me get another taste of that. <sighs> anyway, hi, Alice. Fancy what did you just do? How'd you do that? My favorite drink is the flaming Zambuca. I don't put it out first. Sure, that's the excuse we'll use, Luke. Oh, really? Eating food? <laughs> Thanks you're gonna tell me I need to drink water. <laughs> I only drink air. Wait, wait, wait. I'm ready to drink that water. <laughs> Of course we're going to fight the pizza guy. <laughs> yeah, I mean... It's I get a discount if I beat you up while wearing a floaty day, right? How did you know? I didn't even advertise that. Ma'am, that's every day. <laughs> <laughs> a girl just kind of knows her things, do. Girl, for you, that's every day. <laughs> I like in the back we still see the Molotov mime. <laughs> Jesus. It's it's funny how you call him a Molotov mime. I don't know if we're gonna actually see him, but there is a mime like right around the corner. <laughs> I I don't think we fight him, sadly. Molotovless mime, they call him. The Molotov mime was here first. <laughs> Now, one one thing that will be very obvious throughout the course of this LP is what characters I play and what characters I don't. I don't normally play Luke too much, so uh, I'm not going to do the most, like, crazy shit with him. But some characters you'll see, I'm like, they're one of my mains, and you'll just see me pull out crazy shit all the time. Well, now that you shattered my pancreas, would you like some pizza? I think I should change the name of my stand to Pizza Creus in your honor. Thank you. <laughs> or Pancreza, even. <laughs> Did you have to fight him? Yes. When you have no teeth, you gotta swallow everything. What? <laughs> oh, you got a message from Coach Luke. <laughs> what if the message just said, put on the cat ears? <laughs> uh, I don't think I like my job anymore. <laughs> it's not your job. Really? Oh, sorry. That was meant for Ken. <laughs> All right. Now, Coach, uh, in an equally suspicious fashion, Luke told us to go to an alley. Oh, is this your first alley, Bosch? Hello, Soma. Developed by the creators of Amnesia. <laughs> My man had two jumps and he still got punched in the chest. 
another thing I, I want to say is I, even though modern controls are streamlined, I still don't know how to use them, especially on a hitbox. I feel like it's much better facilitated to a controller. After chapter one, when it gives you the option to switch to classic, that is how the rest of the LP is going to go. That's just how I'm used to playing games like this, is in the classic sense. <laughs> I love how Bosch was still walking past you while you fought another civilian. He's realized how this is gonna go. Yeah. The entire way to that alley, you're gonna beat up everyone you meet. <laughs> He's realizing, oh god, I'm the straight man. <laughs> She looks normal enough. Why can't she act normal enough? <laughs> we all wear inner tubes where I'm from. <laughs> Another thing that's odd is that fighting a computer is completely different from fighting a real person. Computers, like regardless of their level, they're basically designed to either make the right move or not. So fighting them, it just never feels quite as natural as fighting a real person. And in my opinion, it's weirdly more difficult because they're more, they're harder to predict for some reason. <laughs> I'm not participating, Puppet. I don't approve of this. Listen, you, be, you can beat the shit out of this Harry Potter character all you want. I say trans rights, but you know... Did I just imply Bobette was transphobic? Well, I strike that from the record. <laughs> How can I be transphobic when I'm wearing the trans duck, Bosh? When I'm beating up the hair. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Mickey, that stopped you in your tracks. <laughs> it doesn't happen all the time. <laughs> <laughs> If anyone could do it. <laughs> this isn't an alley. It's a street. Boach lied to us. Maybe we should cross the street. Maybe we should fight the street. <laughs> I just got his advice. Hey, you. I get it now. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I officially no longer get it. <laughs> <laughs> so there are aggressive enemies in this game usually members of particular gangs many of which wear cardboard boxes on their head like tracy and uh other ryan here i couldn't see his name they're trying oh uh, yeah synced up with my buddy <laughs> that was cool his <laughs> teeth fall out that was great <laughs> <laughs> Howdy. It was a setup. A, f a kindly setup, but a setup regardless. And then she puts on her own cardboard box and she's like, alright, flip me, I'm coming. And then she sprints towards <laughs> Sorry, my first thought was the spy oh. saying, seduce me! <laughs> <laughs> Beware of people wearing cardboard, but that's just good advice for life. <laughs> or people wearing ties around their eyes. Anybody whose name is in red, uh, they are going to be aggressive and they may try to attack you if you walk by. All right, we're going to go clothes shopping yes this is what i've been waiting for i love character creators but you know what you gotta buy your clothes that's fine i'm gonna go buy some clothes i'm excited excited to dress pop in something that matches the trans duck <laughs> it's not enough white gotta get the drip at the dripping style yeah dripping style it's just a it, it the roof is in tatters <laughs> Pardon me, Zhu Chang. <laughs> you and I play very similarly. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, you get experience. These are basically random encounters. You can just sure. opt out of them.
Nathan, did you bump into me? <laughs> Nathan for you, I see. <laughs> Just to quell anybody's worries, since this is the first episode, I'm going to be showing most of the fights I do. I'm going to be cutting a lot of them out going forward, don't worry. Just to quell anyone's worries, this is not a real person. <laughs> Don't worry, the real Nathan is fine, as far as you know. <laughs> He's still showing up on TV, right? Oh boy, oh boy, time to dress for clothes. Every item of clothing does have its own armor value. Let's see what's available. Oh, fuck. Ooh. You know what? She actually looks really good in that hat. <laughs> <laughs> But it's only because it matches the stupid inner tube. <laughs> <laughs> we can understand that and accept it, okay? So the demo for Street Fighter VI, which is available on all platforms, is a Gila Great Bosch. Uh, <laughs> it gives you the character creator and it lets you play through the first chapter. When I reached this damn store and saw that I could only buy this stupid hat, which looks great on Bopette, did not look great on my main character, I was so teased. I was like, ooh, you got me. I just want to dress my character up. Why won't you let me? Did you guys get those hats? If you turn them sideways, you get stronger. If you turn them sideways, people leave you alone. <laughs> <laughs> What, I'm on the subway? No, we're about to see how Luke wears hats. Oh, there he is back there. <laughs> <laughs> Where the hell are they? It's also a little funny that he, only Luke, was like slightly lower frame. <laughs> what the? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hi, Luke. What's up? Wow, I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> wow, now that you got closer, now that I saw that, I'm now 30 frames. Hold up, hold up. So now I'm 33. <laughs> On my back. All right. Well, Luke likes to wear his hat with the hair on the outside. All right, sorry, the, the frame rate kind of goes to trash. My computer's pretty good, but handling this game with three high detailed models on screen at once and recording it, it's not doing great. So this fight's gonna be in slow motion. It's just too much Luke. It just can't take all the Luke. Yeah. <laughs> the game literally can't handle me right now. The power of God flows through my feet. So when I wear shoes, the world suffers. <laughs> Oh man, I'm gonna have to go Super Saiyan for this one and he turns the hat forward. <laughs> I thought you said to do it sideways. Yeah, that's for you. You're in me, it's forward. Yeah. <laughs> that's the master class. Bosh, you've, you've done no training. You haven't leveled up at all. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, who have you been fighting? No one. And that's the problem. All right, so you are kind of expected to lose this, but I actually managed to win. Hey, yeah, it looks it looks really tight. <laughs> that fucking Duncan hat. <laughs> and if you beat him, you get some street fiber. <laughs> you can use that to upgrade your armor capabilities for your clothes. I don't actually use that very often. And then you come back with the confidence to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with your lovable coach. I guess that practical training paid off in spades. Am I right? Sure. <laughs> I hate him. You gotta do what you can. <laughs> I like him. Like <laughs> I knew you'd say that. Not I knew you'd say that. The road to the top is long, but you just gotta take it one step at a time. God, your character really does look great in the cutscenes. They're very expressive in a way that a lot of Avatar characters don't tend to be. You two are great students. I'll say this about Luke. 
he looks better in the game than he does on the box. <laughs> yeah, the box art for this game is already infamously bad. <laughs> <laughs> they went for it, but it's just not a good face. <laughs> like, it's no, like a it... mosquito went in his eye when they took the picture. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if everyone's calling it the sneezing Luke box art. Yeah. I don't know what this is about, actually. I think this is a modern thing. <laughs> <laughs> Jacob and I are classic controller players, surprisingly. Yeah. I thought you were going to say, Jacob and I are classically trained. <laughs> well, that's, you could say that. I think that, oh, I no, think there's no. a title in game. Some dumb Reddit is going to be like, I'm classically trained in Street Fighter. I don't think it'd be the worst thing for you Flash, to your hat looks like a headbutt. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, your silver tongue's really working up a sweat there, Papa. Absolutely. Oh my god. She gave him the rock eyebrow. Like the the people's eyebrow. <laughs> Look how excited she is. She's she's really precious, actually. <laughs> yeah. We couldn't make the character too cool because the, the avatar in World Tour is super gooby. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't. I need to be strong, and I need to be it now. I'm not like you. I can't go around treating this like a game. Bosh, come on, coach. I'm done with the course. I got things I need to take care of. But you're right. This did give me some confidence. Thank you. Our only fight ended in a draw. Wish we could have had a rematch. I remember snapping your spine. No, let me do it again. Oh, she's so sad. <laughs> the little duck deflates. <laughs> Jacob, you're getting that fucking inner tube with the greatest decision. <laughs> I wish I could say it sticks around for a while. So that's the last we're going to see of Bosch for a minute. How can I put this? <laughs> Moving on. I was going to give him some drip lessons, but he apparently sauntered away. I don't know why no one calls their phone. Like, they always say, like, this thing or this sucker when referring to the smartphone. Right. <laughs> Hope you like your square tablet as my eyes look cross-eyed a little bit. <laughs> All right, so in addition to World Tour, we're going to take a look at arcade mode for each of the characters that we meet. Let's start with Luke here. I'm also going to show these cool intros that you only see if you play like local versus mode because they look awesome. <laughs> and Game Face. <laughs> I love how one of his likes was wacky t-shirts. Oh, yeah. Do you, does he look like a guy who wouldn't wear, like, the cheesiest novelty shirts? <laughs> the name's Luke Sullivan. Sorry, I had to mute for the, <laughs> the last minute. <laughs> taking PMC work. <laughs> but on the side, I've been dipping my toes into the world of street fighting. Why is that, you ask? <laughs> Heck of a question. Wish I had an answer. I don't know where I am right now. Cutscene ends. <laughs> I don't know. Said it was someone who decided to fight Round one. On their own terms. <laughs> Guess I wanted to meet people who live like that. And I figured street fighting was the best way to do it. So the arcade mode doesn't really add much to the story of World Tour itself. It just kind of gives more context to the characters and their motivations. For Luke, uh, since he's the first one where I'm going to be showing off, I'll be showing the entire five-stage arcade mode. You can either do five stages or 12 stages. I do not believe that the number of stages you pick affects your rewards, which are usually like concept art and things. And it doesn't affect the story at all. Going forward, I will only be showing the first and last um, fights of any given arcade mode because everything in the middle is basically just randomized and the same. So, what's with this uh, green little bar down here, Jacob? Ah, uh, well, that is something that we don't have access to quite yet in World Tour. Uh, you get that ability a little bit later. 
but the green meter underneath your health bar is this Street Fighter 6's main gimmick, which is the drive gauge. There are a few techniques that are linked to the drive gauge, one of which is overdrive moves, which you can do by doing a special move and pressing any two like attack buttons. Like if it's down, down forward, forward, punch, then you'll hit two punch buttons. And that does usually a stronger version of the move, but it can also just have slightly different properties. And that uses your drive meter. It used to use your super meter in uh, like Street Fighter V, but now the super meter is basically only for super moves now. Separating it was a great idea in my opinion. Oh yeah, for sure. Child <laughs> Light. Alright, you ready? <laughs> I'm not gonna lose. Round one. There is also, uh, th that, for example, was an overdrive move. That was Drive Impact. It's essentially a move that could be used either heavily offensively or defensively. It can't really be blocked. If you try to block it, you get pushed back a bit and you take a little bit of chip damage, which, which is represented by gray health that recovers over time. If you do hit it, they either fly back, or if they were in the middle of an attack, then they crumple in place, which gives you a huge advantage on punishing what they just did. I'm too good. Round two. Fight. Fight the and one other option you have for using your drive gauge is drive parry. It's essentially a infinite parry. You can hold it, and any attack that is not a throw will be absorbed. And it will also help you refill your drive gauge as well. My, you see, my intent with this LP, uh, not only just to show off the fun world tour and have fun with the character, it's to make fighting games seem a little bit less intimidating. Because in my opinion, Street Fighter VI is the best first fighting game to ever exist. It gives you so many tools and options to succeed, more so than any fighting game I've ever seen. So I, I'm, I really hope that everything I just said didn't sound like absolute, like, a foreign language to people. <laughs> but now truck. Now truck. <laughs> M mini games, like in the classic uh, Street Fighter II are back. Yeah, let, let's just take a break and beat the shit out of a truck in the middle of an arena. <laughs> But no, I actually agree with Jacob a lot that not only is this a very good entry for new fighting game players, but the new mechanics also work well so that even veterans of the Street Fighter series, or just fighting games in general, can already like expand with uh, their versatility with like how they play fighting games. It's not like dumbed down mechanics. There are mechanics that are great for entry level people. And for veterans, you can really like push your gameplay even further. Like, it's great that it it's a game that, even with modern controls and classic controls, it's a game that allows anyone to succeed and feel like you're not being dumbed down, like the controls are not dumbed down, or like you're playing a game that you can't win. Yeah, I don't own this game yet, but it's like the first Street Fighter game that I've wanted. A lot of fighting games when they try to... <laughs> That's one of Luke's taunts. It's just a mock Hadouken. <laughs> Hadouken, dude. Hadouken. Um, a lot of fighting games in the past, when they've tried to dumb down the gameplay... <laughs> That's what I get. Uh, when they try to dumb down the gameplay to get more casual fighting game fans on board, it usually just drives away both because veterans don't want to play because there's not enough depth to it. And new players just don't really find it as fun because you don't end up doing as much cool shit. The, the, the thing that people want to do in fighting games is just do cool things. And this game makes that as simple as it's ever been if you really if that's all you really want to do but if you want to actually take you know hours and hours to study the game and learn how to play it and try to get decent at it it gives you the tools to do that as well one feature that i think is absolutely genius that i'm i'm wondering if i should find a way to show off is in the training mode First of all, this game is the best training mode in fighting game history, but basically anyone who's played fighting games for a long time will tell you that. But one of the features that's hard to explain in words is the frame meter. 
Essentially, when you do a move in training mode, this meter at the bottom of the screen goes, each frame being represented by a block, and the game runs at 60 frames per second, so each second is 60 frames. It tells you essentially what state an attack is in at every frame of that, like whether it's, you know, winding up for the attack or whether it's active and it would actually do damage in that, and as well as the recovery time at the end of the attack, if it was blocked or if you hit or anything. It is so useful. I've been testing myself against the best of the best, and I think I'm starting to get a glimpse of what it really means to fight on your own terms. I'm walking the walk, at least. After fighting Sometimes, three people in a truck, I feel like I'm still the same old <laughs> I've completed my journey. <laughs> it was a really quick Saturday. You know, when you bump into someone, it's polite to say something. Yeah? So? I'm waiting. Go ahead, you ready man. for the gayest thing you've ever I mean, seen? Yes. I don't care either way. I'm not the kind of guy to raise a stink over nothing. Seriously, bro? You must have gonads the size of grapefruits acting like I gotta apologize. Mind if I see him? Huh. Maybe you gotta <laughs> calm down and get out of my face before you really piss me off, bro. Or I can give you a lesson in manners instead. The hell you just say? Oh, you want some? Hey, Mickey, guess who these two remind me of? Hmm? <laughs> Sonic and Knuckles? <laughs> <laughs> All right, you ready? For the record, this is my first time playing through arcade mode as Luke, because I don't play Luke usually. But my god, this ship just sailed immediately for me. <laughs> of course, Jamie is another newcomer. We are going to be meeting every character and playing through their arcade mode as the as the game progressives. As the game progresses. <laughs> And I'm, I'm just going to say, this is one of the best batches of new characters I've ever seen in a fighting game. Basically, every one of them, Jamie included, is a winner. I love them all. Yeah, all of the newcomers have been pretty stellar. Usually when it comes to, like, a, well, any fighting game, really, like, oh, there's a pretty good roster, and maybe, like, eh, one or two characters you don't really care too much about. But everybody here has been really, really solid and well-received, as well as having, like, their own original play styles, too. Yet they're all really cool and fun. Oh, yeah. Like, none of them are losers. No, not at, at least all. At least not in a way that isn't endearing. Yeah. Like Luke. <laughs> like, he's like a goofy loser. Like, he kind of had a rough in Street Fighter V and even, like, transitioning to Street Fighter VI. But I genuinely like Luke. Yeah. And his voice actor has been really selling the character on Twitter, too. <laughs> Just like, shitposting with him. <laughs> on your own terms. Anyone out there calling themselves a fighter is walking that same path and giving it everything they've got. There's no doubt about that. <laughs> and I intend to be taking this every bit as seriously as the next guy. That said, I need to I think, think of enough double entendre fighting words to draw a little comic with these sure two. <laughs> changed all that much. I can only think of a few. <laughs> Well, that's the LP here, but what'd you think? Here's the Luke Jazz. Skip. And that was the Luke Jazz. <laughs> <laughs> he busted out a saxophone. <laughs> Enough of that shit. <laughs> I am so excited for this LP. Me too. I have been excited since... Basically, I finished chapter one on my first playthrough. <laughs> this was another case where I remember like for a few games, Mickey, you said that you finished it and then basically immediately started over again to record the LP. Mm. That's what I did. Not necessarily because I just really loved World Tour, which I did. I, but like if I wasn't recording an LP of it, I probably wouldn't have done an immediate second run through because there's really not much of a reason to. I was just excited for this LP, like the, the prospect of Bopette and the spawn of a past <laughs> Straw Hat No meme. <laughs> spawn. That, that was just so exciting, and I knew y'all were just going to run with it. I apologize for losing my shit briefly there. It's just the image <laughs> of her looking so sad with the inner tube around her. She looks like a child who got left behind at a pool. <laughs> like all she was missing was like a balloon in the other <laughs> <laughs> Like she had a pool birthday party and no one showed up. Oh, <laughs> I just started crying. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> HRT is weird, folks. <laughs> So sometimes, like, you come up with names that are just kind of like lightning in a bottle. Uh, Bobette was the name that <laughs> that I came up with because uh, I was originally going to do a Let's Play for a game that I, I won't discuss. Uh, but I had, like, a bunch of names that I was going to, like, have the uh, Straw Hat Note Discord vote for for this Let's Play. And right before I was going to put the poll in the server, lightning just struck. And once I once I said the name out loud, I laughed for about ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you gotta love that feeling of just cracking yourself up by yourself. <laughs> so I was like, I named the character in that game Bobette, but that never that let's play never came out because I'm restructuring it for another project. But <laughs> when we were talking about the avatar for Street Fighter Six, I remembered that and I pitched that idea. Where I was like, listen, so <laughs> I had this one character's name because the point was she's supposed to be the daughter of Little Mac. Yeah, I think you actually just mentioned that. And then Mickey was like, I've got it. That's our character. <laughs> yes, yeah. that's what happened. Because <laughs> we, like, we were taking a while trying to decide what our character for the LP would be and what it would look like. And as soon as you said that, it was decided. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Because, like, the thing was, like, we were, like, messing around with some ideas, like, oh, maybe it could be, like, a freak, but, like, everybody does that. Everybody makes, like, a weird homunculus amalgamation, and everybody was going crazy with that. And so we wanted something that would be a little more unique to us, and, uh, well, here's the canonical continuation of Punch Show. Yeah, it was either going to be that or, like, Wei Shen or something, <laughs> or one of the links. But then that would have just been Link, like, or or a character that somebody else made, you know? We got <laughs> Bopette, and we, I remember we were looking at pictures of Little Mac and Samus trying to, like, mix the faces together pretty well, and I think, I think I could see the resemblance between the two. Yeah. We did a great job, because it was just the three of us, and, like, I think, uh, it took about, a, I want to say, 40 minutes to an hour and a half or so. Of us just, like, trying different presets and, like, going back and forth with what we thought would be better design choices. We workshop this LP more than we usually do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I could have just gone on my own, but I thought it was more fun to collaborate. But next time, we will begin exploring Metro City proper and meet our next master that we will train under for this fight. The Duck. It's the duck. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. Quack. See ya. <laughs>